Okay, so welcome back to MTG Cards and Reviews. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and take a look at this Innistrad Midnight Hunt Collector's Boosters box though and see what is inside. As you can see it is completely sealed so I have no idea what's inside yet uh, other than there should be some packs inside but uh, inside those packs I don't know what's going to be inside. It hasn't been opened up. I'm going to go ahead and open this up though and take a look to see what is inside here this is going to be a uh, first for this channel first for me to actually do this uh, opening so uh, we're going to take our time and make the most of it all right so we have basically our packs inside i'm going to go ahead and set this up like that. so once we can all right as you can see inside we're gonna go ahead and i think there's 12 if i recall right so we're gonna go grab one and two and we're gonna open those up in this particular segment all right well thanks for joining Let's uh, get started here. We'll see what we got inside, though. Hopefully something really, really nice and juicy. All right. So, well, we got a token it there. So, how's everyone doing? I hope that this uh, recording turns out really well. I'm trying to make some adjustments here uh, to improve the, uh, basically, experience, though by playing as you can see with the uh, auto feature with the zoom and trying to make it so that it is uh, much more enjoyable and le readable and watchable so we got flip the switch in foil howl of the hunt another foil card hedgewick's mask We've got Ecstatic or Ecstatic Awakener, uh, another common in foil there. Of course, all these are generally foil uh, for the most part. Of, uh, Rise of the Arms, an uncommon card. Nice. Hound Tamer. And there is our foil basically land the mountain beautiful mountain in the old school or old style foiling there all right and here is a rare storm of the festival or storm the festival in foil our next card is a rare Drown in Dreams Commander card in the Showcase Borderless version. Alright. I set the mountain aside. Uh, what do we got next here? We've got another rare. The Celestis in the full art version. Alright, and then back to a common. I've got the Darn Heart uh, Rejuvenator. Another common. Ah, the Bird of Myra. Dime a dozen. Actually, probably even less than that. Okay. We have the Suspicious Stowaway is another rare. And Don Hart Rejuvenator as a foil. And we got a mythic. I got a mythic behind here. Uh, Jaron Corrupted Bishop, though, which does flip. It is a foil. And we got a token at the back here. There is the flip side of it. It becomes. 
Auburn are the corrupted. Right, and then we got our insect and human token. Okay. All right. We'll hop on to our next pack here. Let's see what we get in this little bundle. Lamb, bolt, harrier. Yeah, it's a wolf. Lamb bolt. Lamb holt. Lamb holt harrier. The geist wave. Flare of Faith. There we go. Zoom back in. Flare of Faith. Might of the Old Ways. Cather's Call and the next card is an uncommon it's the Spell Ruin Painter and our land is a swamp in the foil we've got a rare here we have the Grafted Identity as an additional cost to the cast this oh as as an additional cost to cast this spell sacrifice a creature enchant creature you control enchanted creature enchanted creature gets plus one plus one autonomy is only skin deep all right we got another rare. Shadowkin, shapeshifter from the Commander Verge deck. It says at the beginning of your upkeep, each player mills three cards. You may exile a creature from among the cards milled this way. If you do, Shadowkin becomes a copy of that card, except it has this ability. Our next card is a rare. It is a Willow Geist. Spirited Tree Folk. Our Tree Folk Spirit. And then we've got our common. We've got the Candle Grove Witch. And the tireless hauler. Next card is a rare. It is the brutal Cathar. And an uncommon. We've got the spell rune painter. Another rare here. Memory Deluge in the foil borderless version. Now, I believe that is a nice hit, though. And then our token. All right. Well, hey, thanks for joining. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, have a great day. And that, that is basically our big hit, though. All right, and now we will just for the quick check on this, let's see what our memory deluge hits at. If it can read it. Okay. So, looks like about a $6 hit, though. Okay, excellent. 
That was a, a nice hit there for that memory deluge. And let's see. Yeah, I don't expect the commander cards to be worth that much though. Um, that's the uh, memory deluge was definitely a good hit though. I know the Celestis is not um, that great of it's a nice card though and everything but it's not a not a major hit or card but hey thanks for joining uh, you know don't forget to like I said comment like we'll come back we'll do another set and uh, share that here and uh, have a great day